So to solve this integral, first what we have to do is to declare if it is an even or odd function. So um, as we know, even function is um, f of negative x would equal to f of x. And the integral of an even function is twice the integral from 0 to the set uh, boundary, which is pi over 2. That same integral that you just had. Um, then, if it, this is for an even function. But if it was an odd function, so um, f of negative x would equal to negative f of x. And that means it's an odd function. And the integral of an odd function is 0 for an odd function. So first what we're going to do is we're going to take whatever is inside of the integral and we're going to plug negative x instead and see what we get. Okay, so our f of x is x squared sine of x over 1 plus, six, uh, over one plus x to the 6. So what we're going to do now is we're going to plug in negative x. So we're going to get negative x squared times sine of negative x over 1 plus negative x to the 6. So as we know, negative x raised to the second power is just a positive x squared. Um, sine of negative x is the same thing as negative sine x. Sorry for my handwriting. And um, this would be 1 plus, well, negative x raised to the even power is the same thing as x to that power. And once we simplify this, or we'll just write it nicer, since we have negative sine x, we would just write the negative sign in front. Negative x squared sine of x over 1 plus x to the 6. So as we can see, what we had in the beginning, which was x squared sine of x over 1 plus x to the 6, right? That was our f of x. So once we plugged in negative x, this was our f of x. And um, our f of negative x happened to be, um, let's see if I can just copy the, I'm not sure, I don't know, I'm not that familiar with this yet, um, so we just get, I'll just rewrite it, negative x squared sine of x over 1 plus x to the 6. So as we see that f of negative x is the same thing as negative f of x, right? Because f of negative x is the same thing as this times the negative sign. So since that's what's happening, because our f of x, sorry, our negative f of x is the same thing as f of negative x, which was right here, which means that our function is odd. Therefore, the integral of this function must be 0. And that's it.